Hello friends. Thanks for tuning in. Welcome back to English Arcade, a channel just for you which helps you polish your English writing skills, grammar and literature. This video is also a part of the Writing Skills Made Easy series. In this video, we will learn how to write a picture composition and this video is relevant for students of all classes starting from primary to middle school. So through this video, we will understand the following aspects. What is a picture composition? How is it written? That is all the steps involved in writing a picture composition and we will understand it better with the help of a solved example. Have you heard the quote? Every picture tells a story. Friends, that is exactly what we are going to learn. We will learn how to write a story or a description by looking at some pictures. After all, sometimes a picture speaks a thousand words. That is, it conveys more than what can be expressed through words. So what is a picture composition? Picture composition is a composition or a piece of writing based on a given picture in order to describe the picture. That is, it is an exercise when we describe a picture by writing meaningful sentences or a paragraph on it. Thus, we can frame sentences and form stories on our own. This involves writing a paragraph or a story based on the given picture. Now there are two kinds of pictures. A single picture with many elements or many pictures with a single element. A single picture with many elements will have too many people or creatures and lots of things happening in a single picture. Let us now understand the steps that are required to describe a scene in a picture composition. Remember, these steps will be applicable for a single picture with many elements. First, carefully observe the picture. Then ask questions and note down the answers or other observations about the picture in your notebook. After that, arrange the observations as points in a logical manner and then write meaningful sentences to form a composition or a paragraph. Finally, write a title for the composition which should be based on the main theme of the composition. While writing a picture composition, always remember to begin the paragraph from the margin. In order to analyze the picture, the following questions will be very useful. What is happening in the picture? Who all are there? What are they doing? Where have they gathered? Why is the picture important? And what is the message being given through the picture? You must write down the answers to these questions in your notebooks as these answers will help you build the composition or the paragraph. Many pictures with a single element would have a series of pictures based on one element or one character or one creature. Let us now understand the steps required to write a story for a picture composition. Observe the picture very carefully. Think of appropriate setting for the story. Setting would include both place and time. That is, where does the story take place and what time of the day or time of the year it is? Is it set in the present times? Does it take us to the past? So you write, include all that in your story. Next, identify the main character or characters. Also identify the purpose of the main character. So what is it that the main character really want to do? After purpose comes action. So if there is something that the main character want to do, what does he do to resolve the problem or to achieve the purpose that he or she has in mind? 
The story should include some emotions expressed by the main character, so feelings, anger, helplessness, fear expressed by the main character could be made a part of the story and the story ends with a conclusion. The conclusion most of the times is a resolution of the problem that the main character experienced at the beginning. Please note that present tense will be used while describing a scene and past tense will be used while writing a story. We will now understand how to write a picture composition with the help of this example. Write a picture composition based on the following picture in about 100 to 150 words. Please observe the picture very carefully. You may use the pause option to have a good look at it. Now let's have a look at the answer. Please note that the composition has been written in a single paragraph with complete sentences and appropriate punctuation marks. The paragraph is based on different questions we asked while observing the picture. The different questions that have been answered are where is the scene set? What is happening here? Why have people gathered here? What are they doing? What are the other things visible? Etc. I hope by now you have all understood how to write a good picture composition. Let's have a look at some key points explained in the video. A picture composition is a composition based on a given picture. There are two kinds of pictures, a single picture with many elements and many pictures with a single element. We use the present tense while describing a scene and we use the past tense while writing a story. The picture composition is written in one paragraph only. The word limit is 100 to 150 words. The title is written on top. Thank you for watching this video. Kindly like, share and subscribe to my channel.